Hi, this is Anna Rose reporting for Wink Ball from the Royal Academy of Art, where we are lucky enough to witness the first ever virtual reality art exhibition put on by the college. We've been asked to uh, or given access to the new HTVC Vive headset, uh, which is a virtual reality headset, and asked to make a sculpture or an environment uh, inside the headset and then extract um, part of that as a, as a sculptural object. That's what we're standing in front of here. Well, it's quite self-indulgent. I like prehistoric creatures. I like sci-fi. So I sort of made a spacey thing. I thought maybe in the spirit of virtual reality, it would make sense to be quite self-indulgent in terms of aesthetic because anything is possible and you're not bound by the normal laws of physics or finance that you would be if you were trying to film that in real life. Um, I think it's a useful way to be able to explore art without having that you can't touch it thing. So you could have the Mona Lisa in a, in a, in a VR headset and you could go up and, and draw a smile on her if you wanted to. That, do you know what I mean? That's something you could do in virtual reality. I'm not very good with like spatial awareness and things like that, so to have to grapple with making things in like a three-dimensional format is not easy at all. So they've done like an amazing job with like what they've made. It's really good. Yeah. That we started sort of with the paintings around here into what the future is, yeah, and I think that's quite fascinating. Even if the rooms, if you look at the rooms, this is a sort of classic place, and the fact they're embracing yeah. new mediums. So, like any new technology, virtual reality clearly has its ups and downs, but it's also a very new and exciting innovative art form. This has been Anna Rose for Winkball.